it's time to look up some science. Welcome to SETI Astro. I've made a video utilizing the Typecat script, which I think is amazing. It searches the entire image for any of these various object types in the Sinbad catalog. Uh, there's 214 of them. It's a lot, uh, but it's really good if you just want to like try to find all the all the cool things in your in your image, right? So you could you know here's all the the galaxies. Uh, maybe there's some. Um, you want to look up the carbon stars. See if there's any bubbles in your image, etc. And then you can go ahead. Uh, you can save that uh, SCV file or text file. Uh, you can manipulate that in something like Excel if you want to change the names around. And then you can go ahead and use something like annotate image to go ahead and import you know, uh, your, your custom catalog here uh, such that when Pix Insight does its annotation image. It'll go ahead and render all those into the image for you. I've done, you know, showing all the supernova remnants or globular clusters within a galaxy like Triangulum or Andromeda. That's really great for annotating an image. If you're actually in there and exploring and trying to figure out what something is, a lot of the time I end up having to go to astrometry. In astrometry.net, you can upload your image. It'll go ahead and, and plate solve it for you as well. But the great thing about that is it'll output a, a great FITS image that's plate solved with normal FITS header solution, astrometric solutions within it. PixInsight currently is using a very robust uh, astrometric solution within its XISF files. And I haven't had great success outporting that to uh, FITS images. So I love using astrometry.net. You get this, you can click this new image.fits. It'll download a fully solved FITS colored image for you if it is colored. And then you could open up something like Aladdin. And you can go ahead and load in your local file. And then it pulls up your local file and uh, within here, then you can go ahead and search for, search for your objects in there. And there, found our uh, little planetary nebula I was, I was looking for. That's just really clunky. I want to present to you a script I've been working on. Uh, to do all this within PixInsight. I have a couple of examples I'll show. Uh, right now the script is called What's in My Image? You'll need a properly solved image. So it needs a, a valid astrometric solution. It has a mini preview off to the left. It allows you to uh, drag the main preview around. It has a little, a little box so you know where you're at. It has uh, the format of your right ascension and declination. So as you're mousing over on the main image down here, it's showing you what the right ascension and declination is at. If you are using a linear image, there is an auto stretch feature and the screen is resizable, which, which helps. You can zoom in further on the main image. Zooming out uh, breaks the astrometric solutions and picks insights. So unfortunately, uh, resizing the whole dialogue is the best thing you can do and using this little this little box over here but what's really great about it is if there is an object you want to know you can shift click and drag a center point and radius and then you can query Simbad with that and it's gonna go ahead and find everything that Simbad has within that circle and you can just click on one of these markers and it'll highlight the thing down on the table that that object is. So here's a, a planetary nebula, PNG 070.9 plus 02.4. And then from here, you could even double click on the object in your table 
and it's going to take you directly to the Simbad website where it'll have the information in Simbad on that. So let's go ahead and just look at one more here. I know for instance, we have this 03 bow shock here uh, and one of these stars is the x-ray binary with the black hole. It's this one here. And if you don't know which one it is, clicking around up here to, to highlight, you can click down in the table itself and it highlights what marker it's at. So this object here is a gamma ray source, here's a spectroscopic binary, this one here is the high mass x-ray binary, Cygnus X1, and again, double clicking pulls up the, uh, the Simbad catalog for you on these objects. I was recently working on this uh, beautiful data from a channel member and uh, wanted to just get a little more information on this little, this little galaxy down here. So we'll go ahead and open what's in my image. We can scroll down to that little galaxy and you can drag and scroll in the main preview as well. And when I did a search, not only do we get the, the galaxy here, but there's a white dwarf candidate. And pulling that up, yep, little white dwarf candidate. And what's crazy is, I mean, we could zoom in here on the main preview now it's resolved in his data. It's right there. It's a little white dwarf. It, it, it's stuff like this. It's this exploration that I, I, I think is amazing. And now to be able to do this exploration within PixInsight without having to do this, go to astrometry and then load it over into Aladdin or just try to look up Simbad, Simbad lookups yourself. I really think it's 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 quite the game changer in my mind for a science geek like me. Right? We can we can look at this. Great, it's a carbon star. Carbon stars are amazing. And you can just go ahead and just pull up all the data for it, right? You don't even have to query around in Simbad because we did that in PixInsight now. It has the objects for you. We'll just do one more. I was, uh, I'm gathering data for this image right now. And I have uh, the first pane of a two pane mosaic. I'm mostly done. And when I was looking at the starless image, I, I found this little guy up here. And I, and I love just that sense of discovery. Uh, so we could, you know, run a, a Simbad query for it as well. And it, it's a possible planetary nebula. Sure looks like one to me. If you do pull up Simbad, like there's nothing in its data here for it. It looks like a little black black hole, so it must really just emit strongly in narrow band. Uh, but you know, it, it has all all the information for it, possible other designations. And from Simbad, you can go to like the Ned catalog and really dig into it if you wanna wanna explore around. One more science bit. Uh, again, in this image, I thought for sure this giant red thing down at the bottom was a carbon star. No, it, it's a planetary nebula. This really bright orange thing is a planetary nebula. It's well documented. A lot of the time, it goes by this Campbell's hydrogen star name. And it's actually something Hubble imaged. So here's Hubble's image of it. It definitely has that that orange and stuff, but you know, just just quickly in the image that I took, stretched, it looks like looks like just a really bright red star. But no, it's a it's this object. And looking that in that object, here's the O3. It's actually this object here. And if you switch to the hydrogen, look how much brighter that is. So the O3 is really looking down at that central star and the hydrogen has this huge envelope around that. And just doing a, a, a quick kind of linear fit up here, um, 
that's that object. It does have that central star and some kind of envelope around it. It's not a carbon star. It really is some other object. So I've made a lot of scripts to process your image from the very start all the way up to getting your stars in your image. Now I hope this final script will allow you to explore your image and really see all those hidden gems and some of the science that's going on besides the pretty pictures. I've updated my website, setiaster.com. The new script will be all the way at the bottom. What's in my image script? Uh, there'll be the standalone download. And as always, you can go to uh, the repository to get it directly via manage repositories in PixInsight. Please comment, like, and subscribe.